Here are just a few of the numbers behind our hero of the heartland. Kevin Harvick has advanced to the round of eight. It's his second career win at Kansas. 35th career Sprint Cup win fourth this season after after leading 74 of the 267 laps. And Kevin Harvick now joins us from Victory Lane in Kansas. Kevin, first of all, congratulations. Great job. One of the many things that went so well for you and your team today was that late race restart, that last one. Can you take us through it and, and tell us what went so well for you? Yeah, I think for, for us, we were able to uh, get a good launch and, and um, you know, the 48 was, was behind us and able to get close enough to our bumper to where we kind of got a good push down the straightaway and nobody was behind Carl. And I think the key to it was being able to clear him by the time I got to the center of uh, one and two and kind of break that side draft. And uh, then those guys started racing side by side. And I knew I needed to get as far away as possible uh, with the drop off that we had in our car and some of those guys being on new tires. So it all worked out for Outback Chevy and, and we're here we are in Victory Lane. Kevin, two weeks ago, you guys finished 37th at Dover and then last week you finished 38th at Charlotte. I, I loved you talking in Victory Lane earlier about the challenges when you go through those type of races of keeping yourself motivated, but keeping that race team motiv motivated. Talk a little bit about how you keep yourself and that race team motivated when you're going through that. Yeah, even even Monday, I mean, we're going to be jacked up and, and excited and pumped up about the win, but there's still a job at hand to do. And I think as as we have had the mechanical problems the last two weeks, um, obviously Chicago didn't go well um, with the caution, but every week we show back up and, and have something to motivate ourselves. You, you have to find something that motivates yourself because uh, this grind is hard. You've lived it, Larry, and, and week to week it's hard to perform at the level that, that uh, you know, it takes to perform to be competitive every week and win races. So uh, the team has bought into that and that's really something that Rodney instilled in, in us from day one. If we're going to spend the time to prepare these cars. We aren't going to go to the racetrack and have a halfway effort. We're going to go and we're going to try to be the fastest in practice, the fastest in qualifying and win the race. And if we can't do that, then we'll, we'll try to get the, the best finish that we can. So everybody bought into that. And, and that's just been the way it's been since day one at SHR. Kevin, there are certain courses for certain horses, and we certainly know about you in Phoenix, but about Kansas, I look at our last seven races. You've been there during that seven race stretch with two different organizations. We'd have, we've had every rules package known to man, but in those seven races, five times you have finished in the top two. What is it that's becoming about Kansas that just suits your driving style? Well, there's a certain thing that, that happens at Kansas that I can get away with here that um, you can't do at every racetrack, but you can get away with it here. And it's been something that we found several years ago, um, and it's been something that's carried through through every rules package, through every tire, uh, through every race condition. It, it you know, and you can get away with it and make the car fast. So, um, you know, that's that's carried on, and, and I'd love to tell you, but I'm not. Hey, Kevin, is it possible for us to overstate just how important it is to have that win heading into a place like Talladega? I mean, how much does that make you rest easy? Yeah, you, you cannot overstate it. I've been on both sides of the fence here, um, you know, as, as you look at the Talladega deal. And, and it's a tough week leading up to it. It's a tough weekend. It's a tough 500 miles, even if you're in a position, a good position, because you want to go there and try to win the race uh, to keep somebody else from winning and, and have somebody else score as little, you know, one less point if you can stay in front of them. Um, the guys have spent a lot of time building a brand new race car to go to Talladega and the rules aren't going to, going to change. So we need to make sure that next year we know what we had this year and what we need to improve upon uh, when we go to go to the Daytona 500. Well, Kevin, you've still never been eliminated from one of these little mini seasons. Keep up the good work. Congratulations, man, and best of luck. All right, guys, thank you.